Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jay Coffee Talk back again with another video for you guys. So check it out, man. Yes, it's more about R. Kelly. Um, Isaac Hayes the third, <clears throat> son of the late great Isaac Hayes. Um, I follow him on the gram. If you guys don't follow him, you should follow him. He's uh you know involved in the music business and stuff like that. And I just I like his outlook on a lot of things, but um I wanted to share this post that he just put up about R. Kelly. He's been very vocal on the gram, you know, ever since this docu-series dropped. Speaking of, like, he's not fucking with R. Kelly neither no more. He He's done with him. But what he said in this post here, um, it, it's a lot of points that, like, I don't know. I'm just, this post is a good post for many reasons. I just, I'm going to share it with you guys. And I'll, I'll you know, I'll, have some speaking points as I go through it and at the end. So check it out. He said, I realize R. Kelly isn't the only artist that dated a young girl. Yeah, that people keep bringing that up about. Like, I don't give a fuck what someone else did. They're foul too. You know what I mean? It doesn't, I don't know that why people are, a lot of people just want to give dude a pass and then they try to justify with other shit, with other people. Like the other people who fuck with young girls are foul too. For the, uh, he said, for the record, we didn't know all along. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, be mindful at the time of the Aaliyah marriage. Rumors, there was no digital media. It was a different time back then in the 90s, most definitely. We all got our news from print, TV, and radio. The ma And I always wondered that. How did that marriage happen? I know it was later and all because, you know, we found out that she was underage. It just never made sense to me. And I just found out that they had fake documents, which is what he says here. Um, the marriage license said she was 18. I believed what I saw on MTV at 20. That's that. Yeah, so they used some fake documents. It was a different time. You could get away with that, um, which someone else was just uh, saying in a YouTube video that I watched in the comments. and it, that sh it was a different world back then, man. You could falsify things and not raise any suspicions. Um, he said... I saw the sex tape once, which honestly, I never saw. I didn't want to see. I knew a lot of people seeing it back then. And I was like, y'all are fine. Like, why do you want to watch that shit? Because word got out quick from what I knew that it was an underage girl. I, like, I believe I started hearing it as soon as, as soon as I heard of the tape, I heard of that. So I never, I never uh, wanted to see it. But a lot of people I know used to just talk about that shit. Just, you know, when you see someone and you talk about what's going on, they would be talking about that. And I'm like, the fuck is wrong with you guys? You guys are watching child pornography, man. Um, he said the girl was mad young, but her age was never confirmed. Every artist kept working with him. Label kept putting, letting him put out music. Radio still played his mu music. Comedians made jokes. It was, it was still never confirmed. Six years later, he's acquitted. So what is the public supposed to believe? None of that is even why I'm done with the dude. So yeah, touch on that in my uh, old video. I, everyone just went about business in the, in the music industry and act like it was nothing. I never quite understood that. And what he said there about him being acquitted, if you watch my uh, other video that I did, or my first video, this is my third on this whole uh, docu series and you know our Kelly's name being brought up again recently. I just I didn't get it. There was a video and everything. I don't understand how we how we beat that case. Um, he said, "Watch the entire program. It's the repeated, calculated, covert, deviated, sexual exploitation, manipulation, and abuse of young black underage girls for twenty plus years. You see the entire story. You see the victims. You hear the methods and tactics." It's sick and dark. I can bury the man and his music with ease. And when you see a man steal 17-year-olds away from their families by promising them careers in music only for them to be beat, starved, pee and shit in buckets, and have sex with other women and him in a sex cult. Fuck Ignition and all them records. I own my ignorance in the situation. Own yours and be human. Learn and be accountable. Do it for your spirit. It will make you a better person. Mute R. Kelly, surviving R. Kelly. Um, who is this? I'm the real, I'm the realist in Chicago. Vibe did an article on their marriage. He got charged with child pornography charges. Why y'all acting like y'all didn't know? And then he just put, he didn't get convicted, fool. Excuse me 
for being a 20 year old making music and dating and not being socially aware fuck out of here yeah man so i see some of the stuff that he's talking about in there too about these girls being stole away from their families and and all that i i'm unaware of some of that stuff because when this whole sex cult news dropped and everything i honestly i didn't look that much into it because i was just super disgusted by about a disgusted by it and i had thought r kelly was a foul like you know what i mean i had kind of wrote him off years ago but like i said in my uh first video that i did about this sometimes r kelly would music would come on and i'd find myself like because I, I dude was talented and i like his music i'd find myself like listen to the music vibe and then i'd have to remember like oh yeah th you know what i mean i kind of put it out of my mind like I, I was like, yeah, I'm not fucking with R. Kelly, and I, and I put it out of my mind and stopped thinking about it. That when, and like I said, when that me, when um, that, but I, you know, obviously, I'm not saying I would sit there and listen to a whole song, but I, a song would come on and I'd be like, oh yeah, man, fucking R. Kelly, you, you pedophile, you know what I mean? But um, that other news of the sex cult where they're talking here about this, this um, in here, you know, shitting and pissing in buckets and all that. I didn't look into that news that deep because I was, you know, just disgusted by it. So, um, pedophiles and sex offenders, lowest form of life to me. You know, I've stated in other videos. Um, I don't know, you know, a lot of them are, I probably were on my old channel. I, I keep forgetting that, you know, a lot of y'all probably are just catching up with me for the first time since my old channel's deleted but to me i feel like they're almost like demons you know what i mean like living demons look like humans but they're just evil but um i don't know guys get in the comments let me know what you guys think about this statement here it's like a lot of people i feel like really didn't know they felt like a lot of this was rumors but i mean the dude just, he, he, he needs to go, man. His music needs to be dropped, period. And then, like, I, I honestly, you see also the news of the streams going up recently. Um, and I shared about that on my Twitter page, I guess. I put, I guess all publicity is good publicity because it's crazy that, you know, his streams is increasing in wake of this, this documentary coming out, but it's like, you know how, that's how people are. They they want to hear, the, you, they hear someone in the news, they want to go Google them and listen to their, you know, no matter what, if they're a musician or whatever kind of, they want to go and see their content that they made. They want to know of them. It's kind of, it's, it's creepy, honestly, but that's just the truth of the matter. But um, I thought that they were pulling R. Kelly. I remember hearing a while back, I thought Spotify pulled him from the, from the service, but I don't know. I guess, I guess that didn't last. Um, get in the comments. Like I said, share your thoughts on all this with me, please. And uh, please hit that like and subscribe, guys. Don't forget the bell so you get the notifications. And before I close the video out, like I said, my old channel got deleted. If you guys are new to the J Coffee Talk channel, let me let you guys know something real quick. I had a good channel going. I got to rebuild it now. It got terminated. But the way I do things here is your input is basically what the channel's all about. I like to hear your guys' thoughts, take feelings, opinion on whatever the subject may be, and we have an open conversation in the comments. Like, treat the comments like a thread, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.